this video, we're going to do simple, quick, and precision touch-ups of small chips around door handles, lock cylinders, and door edges. All you need for this project is your touch-up paint. And this is a one ounce little cup that you pour your paint into so that you can keep your paint bottle sealed. And this way you don't expose your paint in the touch-up paint bottle to air any more than it needs to be. And then we have a micro-tipped touch-up brush. The head on this is roughly one to one and a half millimeters. And this is a throwaway brush. You cannot clean the tip on this once you've used it. So it's good for one project. For this project, this is all the paint you're going to need. This is probably three mLs or roughly a half of a teaspoon. This is a one ounce cup and I have it tipped up so that you can see how much paint's in there. It's hardly any in the bottom of this one ounce cup. And the reason why you want to put such a small amount into your cup is you always want to keep your paint bottle supply closed. It just makes it last longer and also so the paint doesn't skin over on the top of the paint in your paint bottle. Also, this is a preventative measure against knocking your paint bottle over if you had it sitting on the ground next to the car in your work area. Don't ask me how I know this. Okay, so we are going to do this door handle, these chips, and in my cup, it's kind of hard to see there, I have very little paint, maybe a couple mLs of paint, and that's all, because you want to keep your bottle, uh, touch-up paint bottle sealed, and just work from this cup. So you can see as I run the brush along, I just hold it my uh, thumb and forefinger, and just lightly drag it along there. Sometimes I just roll it lightly between my index finger and my thumb just so you can get a little bit more paint from the circumference of the tip. But you just use a really gentle um, motion as you go across so it deposits a really precision amount of paint. So now we're going to do these chips around the key lock area. Same thing, I just lightly dabbing to lay some precision amount of paint on there. And you could almost see in the cup there how little paint is actually in the cup. And the reason why you wanna do this is it skins over, it actually kinda of dries pretty quickly in about 10 or 15 minutes. So you wanna keep, um, use, you know, pull your paint from this cup and not directly from your touch up paint bottle. So you can see as I'm going around this keyhole, the brush head holds about enough paint to go maybe an inch, maybe a little bit less than an inch. So I think I got around that in two applications of paint. And we are going to do the last few chips around the actual key, the lock cylinder there. These precision touch-up paint brushes will make your work look like a professional right out of the start gate every time. They're very easy to use. There's a couple more chips on the door handle. This really makes you know the, the door handle look really nice and it's such a common area that gets banged with keys. So now we're gonna do door edge chips and this is so common. This is from seat belt the latch or the clasp kind of flying in the air and notice I start at the top. So I'm going to use gravity to my advantage and work down the door rather than up. And the other thing you notice is I'm resting the edge of my palm on the door edge and then holding the brush between my thumb, index, and the next finger. But I've got the edge of my palm on the door edge and that just makes your hand really stable so that you can lay a really precision bead right on the chips. And the other thing is you don't want to play with the paint. You want to lay it down and then move on. If you try and play with the paint that you've laid down, it dries so quickly that it'll just kind of blob up and make a big mess. And then you'll have to remove it with lacquer thinner and start all over. So you can see how quick this is. There's really nothing to it and you can get a really nice result and really make the door edge look really nice after it's touched up. 
which is especially noticeable on a black car like this, having the white chips really stand out. And like I said, just one more time, you put very little paint in your touch-up paint cut. And if it starts to skin over and gets a little bit too dry, you can just toss it out and no harm, no foul. And just pour just a tiny bit more in a brand new touch-up paint cup and then continue on with your work.